There we go. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Rocky with River Stone, and we're over here at RV Sales in Moriarty, New Mexico. We're going to talk about the lovely River Stone fifth wheel. It's a fifth wheel design for extended stays. You can uh, pretty much stay in it 365 days out of the year. It has the heaviest insulation in the industry. We're talking R16 in the sidewalls, R38 in the roof, and as well as R38 in the floor itself. As you can see, this is the Riverstone itself. This one here has the Traveler's package on it, which is the full body paint. It's part of that, and it's painted with a, an automotive paint as well as four coats of clear coat on top of it. With that package, you also get upgraded to the 17 and a half inch H-rated Goodyear tires as well as disc brakes. And if you ever pulled a big unit like this without disc brakes, you're gonna say, wow, that's a hell of a feature. So mm -hmm. uh, enjoy yourselves with that one. Uh, this particular unit here has two awnings on the exterior. This is the optional second awning that's available to you. When this awning is out, you can also see the optional 40 inch TV. That's with this unit here. They had one in option to TV in as well. We also have, let me open this up for us right here, the zero gravity Moride step, which makes very solid stepping into the in, in and out of the coach itself in it. What's really nice, this thing just flips up, it's out of the way now. Close your door and you're ready for travel. Now, once you get to where you're going, it's as simple as opening the door itself here, grabbing this step, and you don't have to worry about it falling on you. The door has to be all the way open. You don't have to worry about it falling on you because no matter where you stop at, it stays. So really nice. Very easy to work with as well. As you can see, a tremendous amount of basement storage here to carry everything you, you may need while on your trip itself. Now one of the things I like to point out is that this unit here is on a 12 inch I-beam frame. Now what's really nice to create this, everybody in this industry, we do what they call a drop frame. Once we get to here, we drop the frame down, come across the bottom here, up here, and then you extend the frame over to tie in your pink pin area here. Unlike all other manufacturers out there, is that the weakest link on any of these coaches is right here. So when it's sitting, the weight is sitting on top of the truck, all the weight of this coach is on this one corner right here. And it has a tendency to flex. Flex sometimes causes cracks in fiberglass which a lot of these guys say it's just a cosmetic thing, but no, every time you crack a piece of fiberglass, you, it absorbs water at that point. It causes decay inside. We eliminate that problem here at Riverstone. What we've done is that we do the drop frame like everybody else, but instead of just coming up here and then coming here, we actually run the steel frame all the way across to here, tie it into your main frame, and it eliminates that stress point. So you don't have to worry about it. If you look underneath here, we have steel framing is where that floor is sitting on top of, not a predetermined or a added aluminum frame or wood frame there. So it sits on top of steel. When you walk in that upper deck, it is solid as can be. But the most important part is that we eliminated the stress point here. You're now holding that trailer from two points instead of one on it. So, we really like this feature. Now, it does add a little weight to the coach, but with the disc brakes, the heavier tires, and the soft steel frame, this coach will actually pull just as easy as any of the other coaches out there. As a matter of fact, we, we're always told by our transport drivers that they love pulling the river stone because of the ease of pulling it up and down the road, even in the mountains. So, really like that as well. Uh, coming around, we have the trail air. Kingpin on top of the bladder here. If you ever pull the fifth wheel before, this really softens that blow of that pounding on top of your truck and eliminates that. It makes it so much easier so you don't feel that knocking on your 
truck as you're going down these bumpy roads here. And as you can tell, if you drive all over the country, we're having road repairs everywhere in this country right now. So. Come around the other side here. What's really nice is that we put in these nice oversized battery trays in here. And that comes standard. These trays will actually fit two of these batteries side by side, so you can put up to four batteries in this unit. The other convenient thing is, is when you go to check your fluid levels, you don't no longer have to disconnect the battery and pull it out. You just pull the tray out, ease of maintenance for the consumer right there. It, it's really nice and simple. These just slide right back on in, so you can loop up the four batteries here. Now, why would I want four batteries? If you're staying in campgrounds with power, you don't need four batteries. But if you're one of those who like to travel a lot and may stop in a Walmart parking lot or state park with no power and dry camp overnight, that's when the four batteries really come into play because it allows you to run your whole 12 volt system up there. It will do everything but run air conditioning. So it will not run 110 power. Now, I say that, we have figured out how to put, we actually put a solar panel on these river stones now. This one here is just solar prep. But in the future, they all will come with at least one solar panel on it that will allow them, allow you to watch TV in your coach while you dry camping, allow you to reuse your home theater seating that you'll see later on in here, and uh, do some other things, run your refrigerator and everything else. It will not allow you to run air conditioning because there's just not enough power or battery bank that we can put in here to do that at this time. So, uh, just to let you know there. Here is our docking station. Very simple, easy to get to. As you see, your hot hot lines are red, your cold lines are blue. These are the uh, flush valves here, so when you want to drain your system, this is your low point drains. You can just do it from right here. You no longer have to crawl underneath the trailer itself on it. Our outside shower is here. Our inverter that runs that refrigerator while you're traveling or when you lose electrical power sits right here. Easy to get to, easy access. Uh, all your connections are here. We also include black tank flushes on all of our black tanks. So whether you have one or two in your camper or Riverstone, to determine how many black tank flushes you will get with it. Again, this is the storage area from the door side. What I also like to show people is that down here, you flip this little door, and this is where you access your hydraulic system for your slides as well as your uh, brakes, your electrical or hydraulic brakes itself. What we like about this is the ease of getting to it here, as well as if you ever had a hydraulic leak, it doesn't go inside your coach. It goes down to the ground itself. Mm -hmm. Really like that feature a lot. Uh, there's a way here, if you ever lose the electric or 12 volt motor that operates your hydraulic slides, you can take a simple cordless drill, attach it here, and operate your hydraulics from that point. So it makes life a lot easier on the consumer, and uh, it's just very simple, very easy to get to, and very convenient. We like that. Hey, Rock, I notice you also have your gas struts on these. That's a nice feature. Gas struts on, our, on all of our big doors here, and we like that because oh. latching it on here will cause headaches. Some, it never fails. Literally. Wind, mm -hmm. just wait at the door sometimes. That latch gives away. I've been hit before. It just doesn't work. We use these shocks here, and what's really nice, I'm glad you pointed out, that these are 60 pound shocks. They're not the standard 40 pounders that everybody else uses. Okay. These doors are inch and a half thick insulated doors that need that extra strength to hold these things up because they are heavy doors in it. And uh, as you can see, it well protects your underbelly area here. Another nice little feature that you brought that up is if you look underneath here, we actually bent our furnace into this basement storage area. So when you're in that very cold area, it helps keep this climate controlled for you in it. So it, it really makes it nice. The finish in it is really nice. Another nice feature is right here. And this is standard on all river stones. We actually do a tankless on-demand water heater, but not just any tankless. There's some others out there, the Gerards and the Suburbans, the, the wannabes, that are adequate to a point. This is the true water heater. 
This is a multi-stage from zero to 60,000 uh, watts in this, the BTUs on this thing here. This will actually take your water and heat it instantly. So as long as you have water and you have propane and 12 volt power, this water heater will work continuously. If you want to take an hour long shower, go ahead. You can't do that with your standard six or 10 gallon water heaters that are out there today. So this is actually standard. Uh, there's only a few units out there that have off the drawer on demand, and those are as options. We don't do it as an option. We know it's how important that water, hot water is to you. We're trying to make this thing more residential. By doing so, we added this tank that's on the main water heater here. Of course, 40,000 BTU furnace, standard from all river stones as well. In it, um, we try and Here has one black tank and it has two. No, take it back. This has two black tanks because it's a bath and a half model. This has two black tanks and two gray tanks. All of our holding tanks are 41 gallons, so it gives you a total of 82 gallons of black and 82 gallons of gray. Now, standard for us is a 93 gallon freshwater holding tank as well. So, this particular unit here, just about all of our units, we try to have one dump station so it's so much easier to dump tie into the sewer lines as well. All of our units come standard with the electric power cord reel. If you ever handle one of these heavy duty 50 amp power cords, you'll understand. The weight on it is tremendous. The trying to shove it into a little spot is tough. Most times you just gotta undo it, roll it up, carry it to your truck or to your storage area. Here, press the button, you help feed it in makes a nice neat thing out of this thing as well so that is standard for the Riverstone all of our windows as you can see are tank or uh, frameless windows these are all double insulated double, double pane windows that is standard on every Riverstone we don't build anything with a single pane window insulation you're out in the middle of the you know heat like we are here in New Mexico itself to help keep this thing cool biggest loss of any heat or cold is through the windows. That's why we're doing insulated windows standard. You cannot get a Riverstone without insulated windows. It's standard. And of course, our unit here has a ladder that will allow you to go on top, walk on top. Our roof has half-inch plywood decking. Everybody else uses a 3H OSB, but we use a half-inch plywood decking. So you can get up there and you walk anywhere you want on top of this roof. You don't feel any soft spots in it as well walk on top of our slide outs because those roofs are built the same way in it so really like it this particular unit here has the inch, inch and a half bicycle receiver which is standard so if you're going to carry some bikes with you you simply put your bike rack in there you can carry your bikes on the back side if you want it also has a rear view camera attached to this unit here they have the optional rear view camera and uh you have the monitor that you put in your truck so you can actually see the bikes or you can see traffic behind you while traveling. In the rear view cameras, they make two different models. Uh, Furion makes, makes one that's just a, what they call a backup camera. It's very low CPU in there, in that uh, computer up there, it's Bluetooth. And under normal circumstances, when backing up, you get a nice clear sight. We use the one with a higher CPU that uh, Bluetooth on, so when you're doing 70, 75 miles an hour, you're still getting a true live feed into the truck, so you can see what's going on at the time. Nice. What's going on at the time, so. That is pretty much the features here on the exterior. Of course, all of our lights are LED lights, both interior and exterior. We don't do any incandescent lights whatsoever on this here as well, so. Come on, let's walk around through here. We'll go on the other side. auto level system is standard on the Riverstone. So you don't have to worry about having to manually level these things anymore. You 
just simply get out of your truck, press that one button, and it will level itself. So it does come standard with the six point auto level system, just to let you know that. Good morning. I gotta say, I really like that solar radio. Solar is becoming more and more important in this industry, and uh, people are primitively trying to keep the batteries running. And it's so important. You'll, you'll notice these gentlemen had no problem walking into the door, and the reason for that is that we use a 32 inch wide by 78 inch tall entry door. It's more of a residential sized door. The reason we do that is again, we want it to be more residential, but Anytime you want to have changed furniture in, your, in most coaches, you have to take it to a dealer and either have to pull a slide out or a window out to get sofas in and out, refrigerators in or out. We use a residential size so you can do all that just by opening the door. So if you want to just change your furniture out, you don't have to run to a dealership to get it done. You can do it yourself if you'd like. So let's go on in. All right. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it's our number one selling floor plan is 39 RKFB. This unit here, uh, we've done some unique things. We put a desk in standard. So every one of the 39 RKFBs come with the desk because you still have to do paperwork, pay bills, and things like that when you're on the road. Now, if for some strange reason this desk doesn't suit your needs, which is nothing wrong, we can add another sofa like this one here which is a high bed over here, or we can add another home theater seat there. So you have options. You can do things differently, but standard is the desk itself. Then we have this nice dinette here. As you can see, it allows you to have this much walk space here. But if you're going to dine four people, this thing does slide out. And I'm trying not to take the best I didn't want to do. Okay. It does slide out. There is a sleeve that comes with it and two folding chairs so you can dine for when you want to. The beautiful thing is, is that you're not dining all the time. So to block this walkway just to have a table sticking out here is the reason why we decided to go with this table here and then that way there we go. you have this nice big walkway here in it. Uh, all the wood in Riverstone, real wood, and stained and finished. We do not use a vinyl wrap wood. Uh, we don't use uh, OSB and all that. We don't do any vinyl wrapping whatsoever. It's all solid wood. You'll also notice Riverstones have window sills. You're not going to find that in any coach. The reason we have window sills is because we built it with a three inch thick wall. We actually use floor joists as our studs in the sidewall, 16 inch on the center, just like you build your house. In doing so, then we have to finish the windows just like you do in the house. We have to come in and finish it, put the window sills in, do the trim work in it. So you get true residential structure when you're doing this as well in it. We have 5 h ton group plywood flooring. We have residential linoleum in this particular unit here. You can do the Shaw individual plank flooring as an option that is available to you. Again, we're trying to custom or create these uh, units to make them feel like yours. You know, you also notice how tall our slides are. I'm standing in it and I'm having to touch it way up here to touch it. We do a straight roof line that allows us to put these oversized slides in, which makes things feel a lot roomier. You never have to worry about hitting your head. You two gentlemen are pretty tall. When you walk in, you don't have to duck at all in it, as you can see. Um, we have this lovely kitchen here in the rear. You'll notice our ceiling. We did the tin ceiling on top here. We gave it a little character. We just like to make these things special. You'll notice the beautiful crown molding that's used all over in this here, the cabinetry as well. It's all solid wood cabinets. You, you'll notice we have the soft closed doors in the, in the doors here. We have the soft closed drawers here. This particular unit here is equipped with the uh, Furion three burner stove and the oven, which are two separate pieces. Now, when you open the oven, you can actually fit a cookie sheet in it, unlike your standard RV ovens that's out there. So, that is a really neat feature there as well. If for some reason you don't want a gas cooktop, you would like to have an induction cooktop. Very simple, Val and them over here at, the, at RV Sales can 
take this stove off here. We have it wired for the induction, and the induction will fit exactly where this gas stove sits here. So you can do that as very easily. Our units come with the in, uh, convection ovens as well, slash microwaves. Notice the size, it's residential size as well in it. Our nice big residential style sink, with sink covers. You see how deep this is. how big this is. Just like home. Just like home in it. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that we have a dishwasher here. Now, these are all standard features for the Riverstone. Like I said, we make this thing as residential as possible. You know, I've had some customers say, lost a lot of nice storage space here. Well, I've got other customers say, well, I don't use a dishwasher, but I use it to store my dishes. It just makes it so nice and neat. And when you go to resell it, you're hitting the majority of the market wants dishwasher. So if you ever go to sell your Riverstone, you're gonna get much more, you know, better value for your coach because of that as well. This particular one here, we have this little, what we call the lost corner here. So what we've done, we put a little hole here. We put a trash can there and a door to the outside. So when you go to throw your trash, it all stays outside. And the can's right there. So it just makes it so much easier to take it and throw it in. in there. I like that. That's a neat feature in this particular unit here. All Riverstones come with a residential refrigerator. As you can see, where are you going to put your gallon of milk in this one? In an RV refrigerator, you can't put a gallon of milk. You have to buy a half gallon. You got to find that little slot here. You can put two gallons if you want. You can put it anywhere you want. Really like this feature in here. And everybody says, "Oh, what happens if we lose power or while we're towing?" That's why we have the inverter set up. The inverter will take, to <clears throat> run off the batteries, and will run this refrigerator for you. So it's nice. a great feature. And then with solar prep, you add the solar panels to it. Your refrigerator will run forever. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really neat when you're towing is that your alternator from your truck will trickle towards the battery and keep this refrigerator running as well. So you're not going to lose anything on this. All you're going to do is gain. Gain space and efficiency in running. All right. We get our home theater seating here, which is really nice. This has heat massage and electric, when I can see the buttons. So heat and massage. Heat and massage, wow. And as you can see, it's just a matter of a press of a button. I can lay back, watch the nice 60 inch Sony TV that's in this particular model here. And uh, you got your sound, sound yeah, system. Sound, sy wow. sound system built in as well in it and fireplace. And what's really nice about that fireplace is that it is an electric fireplace. It has the ambiance of a real fireplace without having to cut wood or clean it or anything else. But it also has a heating element in it. So it will actually, that fireplace is big enough to heat this whole coach. And the way we design Riverstone is we put one here and one in the bedroom. So you can zone your electric heat in here by using this fireplace just for the living kitchen area. You use the one upstairs just for the bedroom area itself. So you have an option. You can either have aviance if it just looks like a roaring fire with no heat coming out, or you can turn the heating element on and you have force heat out and keep everything warm. And what's really nice is it puts out what they call a radiant heat. And this radiant heat doesn't just throw out hot air, which is very inefficient. It actually warms the fabrics of the furniture, the wood, things in here so it gives you a true good heat that's that, that's very efficient and, and works well in it. I noticed on the other side too you got ceiling fans. Uh, yes sir we do. We have ceiling fans in here. Uh, I think in just about every model we were able to put a ceiling fan. Um, I've got one that's in question now but it's pretty much every every unit comes standard with a ceiling fan in it. Uh, the other thing I like to show you is that we do what they call the day night shades throughout. Here's the day shade. 
which will allow you to see outside but nobody see in during the day. And at night, when it's dark outside and you turn the lights on in here, you'll be able to see in. So then you have what they call the nightshade that comes down. Now, even our bedroom windows come with both the day and the nightshades. And you'll notice the little pieces we make on the window trim here that won't let that shade come out. And if you're standing at a side, you can't see and they can't see in. No, and it's just a matter of time. You got some good privacy here. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. So, really nice throughout here. In it, all of our lights are on a switch, which is nice. We have rear step lights or the dimming lights here in the uh, living area as well as in the kitchen itself on it. Uh, the our infinity light we try to use in every model. There's a few models we cannot use it in, but every model we try to use the infinity light on it. Um, like I said, the 60 inch TV is standard in so Every model gets a 60 inch TV, uh, except for our front livings, because there's just, we can't do it. We have to do 55 in those. But uh, 60 inches is what we want here. This particular unit here has the half bath downstairs with the washer dryer in it. I'll open that up, that way you can see it. And washer and dryer comes standard in every Riverstone model. The other thing I like to point out too, and they have this one taped down, is that our commodes are residential. They're designed to be, but they're a porcelain bowl, but you'll notice how big and oblong they are here. We also set them up 18 inches so they feel just like your residential. But we also use a residential seat and lid, not plastic. You'll go to these other models and they've got a porcelain commode, but plastic here. Totally different. So we, we, we try not to take any shortcuts, even on you would call this minor, but it is a major thing if you're staying in this thing for an extended time. In it. Now you come upstairs here. We have a nice solid wood door here. I'm sorry, you know, sorry. This wood. And we have a magnetic latch. So when this thing is closed, it's closed. It takes a pretty good chunk to open it up. So, you know, you get in these other models, there is no magnetic latch, there is no latch. If this thing's set off one way or the other, that door will slide either way. When you close ours, you can take ours and throw it totally off level, that door's going to stay closed. Okay? Now, this is one of the nice bedroom areas here where we have the, uh, what they call the vanity slide in here. You'll see the fireplace here, as well as a 40 inch TV in all, all of our bedrooms itself. Standard in all of our models are the king bed, and it's the RV king. It's 72 by 80 in it, and it has a nice, um, nice plush mattress. It's the uh, memory foam mattress with little cooling gels in it, so it makes it really nice here. Uh, all of our units, bedrooms come with individual lights, so no matter what side you're on, you can turn the lights off and on. The other thing I like to show is that on both sides of the bed you'll find 110 outlets, which is important because you all have cell phones you want to charge, you may have a CPAP, you don't have to switch the side of the bed because we have 110 on both sides of the bed, as well as USB point ports for charging your cell phones. So we have that on both sides of the bed as, as well in it. Uh, we are prepped for solar power here, you can put up the three solar panels on top of this unit here. Uh, which gives you a total of 480 watts of solar power to it. Uh, and it's simply install the panels and plug them in. The unit is ready for it on it. Um, this little sensor here is for our air conditioning system. This one senses the air conditioner number two or the bedroom AC. Riverstone comes standard with two ACs. Here at RV Sales, they bring them in with three ACs. All three are high performance, low profile, 15,000 BTU ACs. 
We do not use a 13.5 like all these other manufacturers. Strictly 15s, and when you get them from the factory, you're gonna get the, uh, what they call quiet cool AC, where we build in the return air ducts here, so you don't see that unit sitting here. So when the unit's on like it is now, it sounds like a residential unit going mm -hmm. on and not that real loud RV uh, unit that you have out there in it. Also, here's another door here to the bathroom here, and it's a magnetic solid wood door as well here. What we also do is that we do not go like other manufacturers and, and cut down on your slide mechanism. This bedroom slide, always a big bedroom slide here, it's heavy. We use a hydraulic slide system on this one here. We don't switch over to cable. We don't switch over to the electric gearboxes. Those are ways these guys save money, but it's important to get the best seal, and getting the best seal is with the hydraulic slide in it. Now, what's really nice is that everybody who does hydraulic slides, not in the bedroom, but everywhere else, use a slide system where they press one button, the slide release resistance goes out first, and then the next one goes out. You're getting somewhere and you only want to operate one slide. You have to do one or two things. You have to run all the slides out to get to that slide, or you have to go downstairs and there's little valves you can turn off in some models that you can turn off the individual slides. With us, we manifold our slide systems in, 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 with the hydraulic system, and each slide operates independent. Each slide has its own button. So if you just want to run that big slide out out there, you just press that button and we'll run that slide there. If you want to just run this slide out here, same thing here. Now on these little smaller race four slides, there's no way to put a hydraulic system. We have to use an electric slide for that, which you can see is not a very deep slide. It's a very uh, light slide. So those systems do work and work well with that. These bigger slides, you really want that heavy duty hydraulic slide working for you on them. This particular model here, Janelle, if you want to turn around, has a laundry chute. Your dirty clothes is down, your wash and dryer is downstairs and then a half bath. This allows you to drop your dirty clothes from up here to that area so you don't have to bring them out and go around with it. So your dirty clothes is right next to your wash and dryer all the time. So. It's a neat feature our plant manager Jay put in when he put this plan together. We all laughed at him until he put it in and then we realized, Jay, you gotta get there. <laughs> and it works really works well. Works great. Yes. Now, in the master bath, we did something different. We actually took the shower and put it into the nose of the coach. We did a double vanity here with a nice big window here and lots of lights. Oh, there's our switches. And as you can see, we even light the back of the mirror up to give you that soft night light effect as well in it. And then, of course, the nice overhead lights here in it. Residential features here. Notice the molded countertop with the molded, molded sinks in, just like you find in, in the homes today being built. We have our res residential commode as well. Nice storage area here. This is the beauty, it's right here. We actually have a walk-in closet. There's not too many RVs that truly have a walk-in closet. This one here is a nice walk-in closet that you should find at home. Uh, you can hang things up in here as well, coats, jackets, you know, whatever, but it's also lined in cedar, so it keeps it fresh and nice, and, and it's just a beautiful, big walk-in closet. Very, very unusual in this industry to have a true walk-in closet. And this one has it. All this off right now. And we'll come back out here to now. Give them one more look at this beautiful Riverstone. This RKFB roof kitchen. Tin ceiling. And I get to feel like I'm in one of the old houses in New Orleans. It's just, it's beautiful. So, if you have any questions, come on down. I'll be here today and tomorrow over here at RV Sales here in Moriarty, New Mexico. And we'd love to answer any Riverstone questions you may have. We have 12 models to choose from. Unfortunately, sales have been so good, they're down to one new one right now. But she has more coming. And uh, like I said, we can go over the 12 
unique models that we offer to you and Val would love to work a deal with you. So thank you for sharing your time with us and uh, really enjoyed it. Come on now to RV Sales and we'll enjoy this lovely weekend together. Thank you.